in this final episode, we do some local sightseeing in and around Gaza, which is the administrative headquarters of Spiti Valley. Our first stop will be Dhankar Monastery. From Dhankar, we ride into Hikim, which has the world's highest post office. Then we are off to Comic, which is known as the highest motorable village in the world. From Comic, we travel to Lanza, which has an amazing Buddha statue. We then ride to the famous Ki Gompa. From Ki Gompa, we are back to base Kaza to end our day. The next day, we say goodbye to Kaza and ride towards Chandatal via Kunzumla Pass. From Chandatal, we ride into Sisu for our night stay. From Sisu, we drive to Manali, our final destination via the Atal Tunnel. We reach Chandigarh from Manali, where it all started and end our trip, the most memorable and adventurous trip of our lives, and back to base to Bangalore from there. We reached Kaza the previous night and when we woke up the next day, we were amazed to see the landscape of Kaza with mountains surrounding the entire town. Enjoy some aerial footage of Kaza town. Before we started our ride, we filled our bikes at the world's highest petrol pump. We had missed going to Dhankar Monastery the previous day, so decided to go there early morning and rode towards Dhankar. On our way to Dhankar, we saw some amazing rock formations. These rock formations are mainly because of the high wind and erosion. Just before ascending towards Dhankar, our friend Chetan's bike got stuck in fresh landslide. With help from some locals, we were able to get the bike out and started our ride towards Dhankar. We then ascended towards one of the oldest monasteries nested on top of a hill. One should not miss this place, it's just one of the architectural wonders. Now enjoy some aerial footage of Dhankar. The rock formation surrounding the monastery is something we had never seen before. And the views from the monastery was just breathtaking. On our way back, we got into a traffic jam of a different kind.
From Dhankar, we started our ride towards Hikim, which has the world's highest post office. Hikim is a very small village with hardly 10 to 15 houses. A lot of tourists send postcards from the world's highest post office to the near and dear ones. Our next stop was Comic, which is the world's highest motorable village. We stopped briefly to take some pictures and started our ride to Lanza. The Buddha statue in Lanza overlooks the mountains and is an amazing sight. Now enjoy some drone footage from this place. From Lanza, we rode to the most awaited place of our trip, Ki Gompa. Ki Gompa or Ki Monastery was built initially as a fort. This is built in the shape of a mountain. Now enjoy some aerial footage of this amazing Ki Gompa. In the evening, we witnessed an amazing sunset and it was time to head back to Kaza to call it a day. The next day, we woke up early and it was time to say goodbye to Kaza. We started towards Chandatal. We were told the ride to Chandatal would be the most adventurous of the entire trip. The route to Chandratal was very scenic. On our 
way to Kunzula, we also saw a rickshaw. Oh, rickshaw wala! As we got close to Kunzumla Pass, the weather changed. It started getting really cold. At Kunzumla, we have a very famous Kumzum Mata Temple. The place is so peaceful and is very well decorated with many prayer flags. We prayed here to thank for the safe ride so far and the remainder of the trip ahead. From Kunzumla, on our way to Chadatal, we encountered our first water crossing, known famously as Pagal Nala. For us first timers, it was a very difficult task, but some of them successfully completed crossing it. When we finally reached Chandatal, the sheer size and the splendidness just took our breath away. The views were just surreal. Now enjoy some drone footage of Chandatal. After spending some quality time at Chandatal, we started our ride towards Sisu. For lunch, we stopped at the famous Chacha Chachi Dhaba at Bathal. We helped ourselves to some hot dal chawal and rajma chawal. Break for lunch was a much needed one as at this point we didn't know or have a clue of what lied ahead of us. We also said hi to Chachi. From Badal, we started our ride towards Sisu and came across a stupa, so we stopped there. The sun was setting behind the mountains and the light was just amazing, created magic. From there on, the next 70-80 kilometers was pure nightmare. We rode on non-existent roads and riverbeds. We were just waiting when this road would end and we would get onto fresh tarmac. When we climbed up the mountain, fresh tarmac greeted us and we rode into Sisu in the fading light. We were so tired from the ride, we just called it a night. Our stay at Sisu was the tented accommodation next to the river and Sisu Falls.
the views from our tents were just mesmerizing. After some photo shoots, we started early from Sisu to Manali via the Atal Tunnel, the longest tunnel built in India. It was an experience riding to this. As we came outside on the other side of the tunnel, we were welcomed by rain. The weather was completely opposite to Sisu, which was bright and sunny. At Manali, we checked into our hotels, which had a magnificent view of Manali. Later in the evening, we did some touristy things and visited some sightseeing places in Manali and ended a night at Mall Road having some great food at a local cafe and some street food too. The next day was a very long 300 km ride to Chandigarh and we started day early and said goodbye to Manali. We were also delayed in the beginning with some puncture of a fellow rider. After getting it fixed, we started towards Chandigarh. This was a very long ride and we reached Chandigarh in the evening. When we reached Chandigarh, it was time to return our bikes and do some local sightseeing and shopping. We all tired, called it a night. Our flights took us to Bangalore the next day and we ended the most adventurous trip of our lives to Spiti Valley and decided to do another one to Zanskar the next year. Goodbye!